Hello, welcome to Back to Coding. Today we will be talking about what is the purpose of using intent.createChooser in Android. This video is in continuation of the previous part which you can find in the description below. So I highly recommend you to check it first and then come back to this video again. You might have seen that if there's more than one activity on your device that's capable of receiving your intent, Android automatically asks you to choose which activity you want to use. It even asks you whether you want to use this activity all the time or just on this occasion. There's just one problem with this default behavior. What if you want to guarantee that users can choose an activity every time they click on the button? If they have chosen the option to always use Gmail for instance, they won't be asked if they want to use Yahoo Mail next time. Fortunately, there's a way around this. You can create a chooser that asks you to pick an activity without asking if you always want to use it. Intent.createChooser displays a chooser dialog. You can achieve this using the Intent.createChooser method. This method takes the intent you have already created and wraps it in the chooser dialog. The big difference in using this method is that you are not given the option of choosing a default activity. You get asked to choose one every time. You call the create chooser method like this. The method takes two parameters, an intent and an optional string title for the chooser dialog window. The intent parameter needs to describe the types of activity you want the chooser to display. You can use the same intent we created earlier, as this specifies that we want to use action send with textual data. The create chooser method returns a brand new intent. This is a new explicit intent that's targeted at the activity chosen by the user. It includes any extra information supplied by the original intent, including any text. To start the activity the user chose, you need to call start activity chosen intent. Now let's see what happens when you call create chooser. When you run the following two lines of code, the create chooser method gets called. The method includes an intent that specifies the action and MIME type that's required. Android checks which activities are able to receive the intent by looking at their intent filters. It matches on the actions, type of data and categories they can support. If more than activity is able to receive the intent, Android displays an activity chooser dialog and asks the user which one to use. This time, it doesn't give the user the option of always using a particular activity and it displays send a message in the title. If no activities are found, Android still displays the chooser but shows a message to the user telling her there are no apps that can perform the action. When the user chooses which activity he or she wants to use, Android returns a new explicit intent describing the chosen activity. The new intent includes any extra information that was included in the original intent, such as any extra text. The activity asks Android to start the activity specified in the intent. Android asks the activity specified by the intent to start and then passes it to the intent. If you have no matching activities, if you have no activities on your device that are capable of sending messages, the create chooser method lets you know by displaying a message. This behavior is another benefit to using the create chooser method. The create chooser method is able to deal with situations where no activities can perform a particular action. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel which really motivates me to make such useful content for you. Also, don't forget to check my other videos which can be helpful to you.